Welcome to Time of Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glorify or condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murder of Christopher Paul Bishop. Bishop died on Tuesday, February 23rd, 2016, after he was shot in the 10900 block of Alondra Boulevard in Norwalk, according to LA County Coroner Records. Luis Aguilar and Victor Roberts were subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. The following is the evidence at trial. Around 4.20 p.m. on February 23, 2016, Roberts, Aguilar, and three others, Giovanni Tejeda, Brian P., and Dario F., drove to a 7-Eleven convenience store in Norwalk to buy beer and pizza. Roberts, Aguilar, and Tejeda were members of Barrio Norwalk. Dario, who was 14 years old, was not a member of the gang, but was part of a tagging crew. The 7-Eleven was in Barrio Norwalk territory. Roberts, Aguilar, and Tejeda went inside the store, while Dario and Brian stayed at the car. Around the same time, Chris B. Sr. and his adult son, Chris B. Jr., arrived at 7-Eleven. We refer to them as Sr. and Jr. for the sake of clarity. Sr. and Jr. were members of Neighborhood, which is a rival to Barrio Norwalk. Their monikers were Weasel and Baby Weasel. Sr. had a Neighborhood tattoo on his chin, and Jr. had a visible Neighborhood tattoo on the back of his head. Dario and Brian noticed Junior's tattoo and went inside the store to alert the others. Defendant Roberts pointed at Junior and Senior and said that's Weasel and Little Weasel from Neighborhood. The head I said, your neighborhood, you're not supposed to be here. Aguilar threw up a Barrio Norwalk gang sign. They talked shit and told Junior and Senior to leave. Junior and Senior refused. Junior and Senior started passing something back and forth and Dario thought it might be a weapon. Dario was scared and walked outside where he saw defendants Aguilar and Roberts standing together. He heard Aguilar tell Roberts, give me that. Roberts handed Aguilar a gun and they went back inside the store. Aguilar showed Junior and Senior the handle of the gun. Senior immediately ran out the back emergency exit and Junior followed a few moments later. Aguilar started chasing Junior and Senior with Roberts and Dario trailing behind. Aguilar kicked open the back door and Dario saw Senior and Junior running away outside. Junior tripped while trying to hop over a railing. Aguilar raised the gun and started shooting. Dario heard a man scream and saw Junior on his knees. Aguilar shot Junior a few more times while he was on the ground. Junior suffered six gunshot wounds, including a fatal wound to the chest. Five of the wounds indicated the bullets traveled from the back of his body to the front. The sixth wound was inconclusive. After the shooting, Dario, Roberts, Aguilar, and Tejeda ran to their car and drove away. Tejeda and Roberts initially seemed upset with Aguilar for shooting someone in broad daylight. Tejeda received a phone call from the 7-Eleven cashier who told him Junior was dead. Tejeda relayed that information to Aguilar and Roberts who shook hands. At a joint trial, the prosecution presented eyewitness evidence and surveillance camera footage establishing the facts recounted above. The prosecution's primary witnesses were Senior and Dario F., both of whom had previously given detailed recorded accounts of the incident. Following the trial, the jury found Aguilar guilty of first-degree murder and Roberts guilty of second-degree murder and found true the gun and gang allegations. The court sentenced Aguilar to an aggregate term of 50 years to life and sentenced Roberts to an aggregate term of 40 years to life. Christopher Paul Bishop was 18 years old at the time of death. 